is up gamers welcome to the channel i hope you're doing well thank you so much for tuning in and watching uh believe it or not we have another uh balance patch coming up here soon uh they just released the patch notes um on the uh, reddit page and i can't even believe it they uh just released uh their previous balance patch a day ago on uh july 8th and uh now today i'm recording this on july 9th and they just released the patch notes for july 11th so it's uh, unbelievable. <laughs> we uh, have a whole nother uh, list of uh, patch notes to go over here already. So, you know, I'm guessing, you know, with this final week of the beta, um, they want to try some more things out. And uh, so they're taking every opportunity and chance they can to do it. Also, if you haven't uh, checked out my previous patch note video, I'll uh, make a card for it here. You should be able to find that. Um, go ahead and check that one out, get up to date, and then uh, come back and watch this one, check this out. So with that said, um, I think we're ready. Let's uh, jump into it here. Um, first thing we got is the destroyer. Uh, one of my favorite units um, looks like it's getting a little bit of a buff range increased by 20 percent um, that'll be interesting uh, that's a pretty nice little buff i think um, i love using the destroyer already uh, everybody seems to be running a lot of tanky units so the destroyer is a great counter to those um, and actually it's like one of the few like counters really to tanky units so uh, i'm glad to see it getting a buff uh, it's definitely a little tough to use it sometimes as you know if you're not in that range of the tank unit that you want to um, target then they'll, you know, if you're using the auto attack function, it'll automatically hit, you know, a crab or something like that. So um, it's nice to see the range increase on that. So it doesn't seem like it's anything too crazy, but uh, should uh, help it out quite a bit. Next up here, it looks like we got the uh, King Crab movement speed increase by 14.3%. Wow, that's gonna be crazy. Um, the King Crab is already a pretty strong unit. Um, I wouldn't say it's, you know, on the edge of being broken or anything like that. So I think, uh, you know, overall this should be a pretty good change to the King Crab. Um, however, the uh, King Crab can be very strong in the right situation. So um, I've seen a couple of people try, you know, doing like some base races with the King Crab and this is gonna make it even better at that. So uh, keep your eye open for that. Watch out for your opponents trying to sneak attack you with this. Um, but, uh, you know, with them being a melee unit, uh, they're very difficult to move around and get where you need to go. So it's good that they're increasing the movement speed on them like this. Um, that'll uh, help them out uh, quite a bit, I think. Um, next up, we have the butterflies getting another buff. Um, health increase by 22.2%. Um, I believe their uh, one of their previous patches um, was also increasing the health on the butterfly. Um, or perhaps that might be the dragonfly that I'm thinking about. Um, however... Uh, a health buff to the butterfly um, should be pretty good. They were definitely a bit underwhelming. Um, if your uh, you know opponent has any kind of uh, tier one, you know the core unit anti air units, um, just about any kind of anti air unit, honestly, um, can pretty easily handle the butterfly. So um, the, the butterfly probably needed a little bit of a buff, a little bit of help. Um, Twenty two percent doesn't sound all that crazy. So um, I guess we'll have to wait and see just how effective that is, but. Uh, I think that'll be fun to try those out again. Uh, let's see, next up we got the blink. Um, the blink uh, delay between attacks decreased by 4.34%. Um, this is an interesting one. Uh, let me read this here. Blink looks to be on the weaker side compared to the other tier one core unit options. But at the same time, we know from alpha testing that there's very little room for buffs here. So we wanted to try this attack speed change. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, I did kind of feel the same way, the, uh, the blinks definitely seem to be on the weaker side of the uh, other uh, tier one core unit options there. Um, so this just seems like a, a pretty small buff to it though. So, you know, it sounds like they're a little worried that uh, if they do too much more, these will uh, just end up dominating. Um, Cause you know, I can see definitely in the right hands with somebody who's very good at microing these around and whatnot, um, these can be very strong with that blink ability. So uh, I appreciate that they are trying to be very careful with this unit. Um, I would. Uh, hate to see this unit uh, become too strong, uh, but I think this change here should be fine. Should be pretty good. Uh, next up, it looks like we have the Swift Shocker. Uh, health increased by 10%. Um, yeah, 10% doesn't sound like much, so uh, I'm not sure this is really going to help it all that much, to be honest. Um, it's good to see it getting a bit of a buff, though. Um, I do think the Swift Shocker is a little bit on the weaker side. Um, it's very good at, you know, swarming around your opponent and whatnot and uh, trying to sneak behind uh, their, you know, front line and whatnot, but it can also be very difficult to do that, especially if uh, your opponent starts building up a big enough army. Um, the Swift Shocker definitely starts to have some trouble in that regard. So, um, you know, hopefully this 10% uh, is enough for the Swift Shocker to make it uh, good enough. Um, right now, I don't think it's too bad, though. It's not that bad of a unit or anything like that. Um, 
but there's just um, a lot of better options. There's actually quite a few different, uh, you know, AOE damage units um, to choose from. So it's almost, you know, kind of, in my opinion, you know, difficult to choose a Swift Shocker over some of the other options. So, you know, hopefully this is a good little buff for them. Uh, next up, oh boy, I don't like to see this. I don't like to see this. <laughs> oh, we got the uh, Bomber getting another little bit of a buff here. Um, I guess their their previous, you know, change and whatnot wasn't really that much of a buff. It was more of a quality of life change. So, uh, Bomber uh, is getting a health increase of 7.7%. Um, you know, I definitely, you know, don't see the Bombers very often. I don't like... Um, I don't like using them myself, and I don't like going up against them. Um, they're one of those units that are just, like, very scary to go up against because they're so fast, and um, they can completely catch you off guard, and they can do a lot of damage very quickly. So um, it'll be interesting to see how they do with this new health um, change, and I'm just hoping that they don't become meta. Um, I, don't, I, I don't think they will with this. This is a pretty minor buff, to be fair, so um, I'm just hoping I don't see them all the time now. So <laughs> we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Um, but anyways, um, next up we have the Advanced Recall. Um, damage against durable, uh, durable units increased by 17.4%. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's a good change. Um, I think the Advanced Recall probably need a little bit more. Um, the problem that they have is, you know, they're, uh, basically like a much better version, obviously, of the Recall, uh, units. Um, however, you know, they cost a lot more, um, as well to make. So I don't know if that really makes up for it because they're not really that much tankier or anything. And the problem is if you start massing these up, uh, your opponent's just going to roll in with some kind of AOE damage uh, unit and completely wipe them out. So they're still, you know, very fragile. Um, however, uh, I have tried using these a couple times and I did notice my biggest problem was taking out the tank units, surprisingly. And, you know, DPS units like this should actually do very well. They should excel against the tank units in the game. So I think this is a good change because that'll help them do that. And, you know, hopefully uh, uh, this pushes the advanced recall forward to, you know, being a bit more usable. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I think I think they're still going to need a little bit of a health buff or something like that. Um, but uh, they can definitely be very strong in the right situation and circumstance. So uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Uh, next up, similar change it looks like to the Steiner. Damage against durable units increased by 12.5%. Um, that's, uh, you know, another good change, I think. Uh, Steiners, in a very similar way to the Advanced Recall, you know, their damage is very lacking against those tank units. And, you know, Steiner being a single target DPS damage unit, um, I think, you know, single target DPS should counter the tank units. So uh, I think this is a good change for them. Um, they can definitely be scary in the uh, right situations and whatnot. So um, overall, I think the Steiners are fine. They're on the, uh, you know, safe side of strong. But, uh, yeah, so I think uh, that's a good little change there. Nothing too uh, crazy or drastic here. So uh, next up, we got the Recall Shocker. Um, Recall Shocker health increased by 12.2%. Um, another little, you know, health buff here. Uh, this one for the Recall Shocker. Um, honestly, I haven't used these uh, units very often. I haven't seen them used too often. Um, they seem like they're just a, you know, worse version of the Shocker, uh, basically. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, this little buff is enough to, you know, make them competitive with the Shocker, because uh, that's basically, you know, their main competition, you know, so uh, it's tough to, well, that in the mortars, of course, but uh, there's just so many options for that AoE damage uh, category, so, you know, it's it's tough for them, I think, to balance all these different options against each other, so uh, we'll have to see how competitive this ends up being, you know, with the, the Recall sh Shocker and the Swift Shocker now getting a little bit of a buff, so we'll see if they're able to keep up and compete, so let's move on to the airship here. Uh, movement speed increased by 14.3 percent interesting so they just nerfed the airship um uh, the other day yesterday and now they're buffing it again so um yeah i felt like the airship was fine it's still you know for being the uh tier two star forge uh basic star forge unit um that counters air units it's still the best at countering air units so i don't think um this movement speed uh buff is really necessary to be honest um, but also I don't think it's really going to make it, um, overpowered or anything really either. So, um, yeah, the airship, you know, basically just performs that niche that you need to. So yeah, if you really hate going up against air units, um, you know, the airship's already going to be doing that job very well. So this will just, you know, make it a little bit better at that, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, the airship then let's move on to the heavy hunter. Um, interesting, uh, movement speed increased by 19.8%. Um, I believe they already had decent, uh, movement speed. Um, so 
them adding you know almost 20 percent to the heavy hunter um should be pretty interesting uh again it's a similar thing as the airship you know it's already it's already very good at countering air units um so this movement speed um buff i guess just helps it do that a little bit better uh however you know maybe this can be used a little more effectively for uh also the in between when you're not fighting those air units and you have to face the ground units um, maybe this will help you uh you know kite a little bit better and easier then too so maybe this will make the heavy hunter a decent uh, option right now i don't run it too often because you know i just prefer to have more you know versatility with that uh, foundry slot um and i don't typically like uh using that for an anti-air option so that'll be an interesting change i think that's pretty good overall it's fine it's uh you know nothing too too crazy in my opinion um, and then finally we have the valkyrie uh, damage against air increased by 82.7 percent um, removed bonus damage against durable units um, so that's very interesting um, the valkyrie got a little bit of a nerf um, the last time and uh, so now they're buffing it back up a little bit again um, they're removing the extra damage to durable units i guess just because they're flat out increase in its uh you know base uh damage anyways so uh should still be very effective at countering uh the durable air units as well as all other air units so um that'll be uh interesting um you know valkyrie's basically the king of the air so uh it's really tough to go any other kind of air unit when your opponent has a valkyrie and so same for yourself if you really don't want to go up against air units at all uh just run the valkyrie and there you go, you're set. You should never lose to air units again. <laughs> I mean, what more can I say? It's a uh, king of the air. So yeah, all in all, um, I think uh, these are all pretty good changes. Quite a bit to go through and uh, to try out, I guess. Um, I really wasn't expecting another uh, patch before the end of this uh, beta phase. So that's pretty cool to see. Um, I'm glad they're trying different things out. And I'm always uh, welcome to, you know, fast patch cycles. Uh, makes things a little more interesting, more exciting. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this one. Uh, keep an eye out for me later tonight. I'll be uh, doing some more streaming of Battle Aces. Once again, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll catch you soon in the next one.